You know, wouldn't it be great if we all got the gifts we really wanted during the holidays? We know some of those gifts will have to go back, but returns do not have to be an ordeal. Consumer reporter Susan Hogan is working for you with ways to make your returns hassle-free. Well, the last thing we want to do after Christmas is stand in long lines to return something. But the good news this year, many retailers are offering even longer periods to return unwanted gifts. So here are four things to help make this process a little less stressful. Know the return deadline. You are on the clock now. So don't just sit on an item for months. Look online or call the retailer and ask. No receipt, no problem. Well, that depends. If you're not uncomfortable asking the giver for a receipt, that helps. Otherwise, expect store credit or an exchange. Some items can't be returned if open due to COVID-19 restrictions now, so don't remove any tags or open any packaging. Got a gift card you don't want? Sell it. Some auction sites allow you to set your price. Other sites are a little more generous. What I personally like better is hard cash because you can go there and input all the info and then either accept their cash offer or you can trade it for a different gift card. One other thing when it comes to returns, be prepared to actually show your ID. Some retailers use this to track frequent returners. Others require it to prevent shoplifters from returning an item for cash. I'm Susan Hogan, News 4.